Did Today they, so is the day finally, of war. What? Well, I was going to ask, did they ever think to do a Boss Baby movie where he does other jobs? They have besides, a show. They have a whole TV show. Besides Boss. They do have a what? TV show. Boss is not a job also. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, boss, I hope Boss a Baby liberal. doesn't hear me say, oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I am dressed like a liberal today. How yeah. could you tell? And I'm dressed like <laughs> I'm dressed like a Republican. You think this is how Republicans dress every day? You think you go down to the red states and this is mm-hmm. everybody walking around in the fatigues? I have seen soldiers at Chipotle. Fatigues? Is it because it's so tiring to be in war? Yes. Yeah. Completely. They, they're pajamas. Is that what they are? It's yeah. they're heavy clothes because of all the colors on them mm-hmm. and the it's gear? extra different types of dye that oh there's to. so much dye in it that it makes you so tired because it's right. really, it's like thirty yeah. pounds of fatigues shirt. your body. Yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Five weeks of war. Well, guys, it's the war on masculinity. We the finally made it to woke. the modern era. Which, the by the way, woke. we could have just said uh, that there is no theme for the episode this week because we're currently yeah. uh-huh. in the midst of this war. We exactly. have been in this war on the front lines every single day. This is how I normally dress. We've been fighting. The war rages on. The war rages on, mm-hmm. especially if you watch uh, lamestream Part news nine. coverage. Day. Part nine, home stretch. The Saturday is the final war? Yeah. Holy fuck. I never want war to end. No, I never war, want unfortunately, end. war will end, end war. on Saturday. Oh, I'm That's so got to be the worst part That's about the end of war. The end of Damn. war is on Saturday. Shit. What's fuck our that. final war? We'll get war into that war. later, but uh, okay. it's not the not a basic ass basic ass war. Yeah. One of these fruity wars. Yeah. yeah I'm sick of these fruity ass wars. Yeah, none of these are I'm cool to me. I'm sick of these fruity ass wars, man. I like the But I look good as a war soldier. Wars. Would you look good in war? I think nah. I think that you would be so scary to get like do the salute again. If I got off the plane, the big cargo plane that they put the warthog on, uh-huh. on the, uh, the pelican from Halo. Yeah. If I got off of that and you were standing there greeting me and they're like, "This guy is your captain," I think that'd be real. You'd be scared trouble. that you're gonna die. That'd be really bad trouble. He's I'd be yeah. marching backwards. I would. Li- yeah, marching backwards, <laughs> writing the note to my wife <laughs> yeah, yeah. on the walk back. That would really be scary to me. Yeah. yeah. I've been playing these Halo games, and this is one war that I can't believe that we are not covering. This war is brutally terrifying. Well, there's yeah. copyright issues that we would run into because of Halo, the TV I show. I can't believe that this Halo, isn't the on movie. the news, that the covenant is... Well, a- it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, it's going it's to happen. Going, it will be on the news. That's why it's so devastating, is that it, it is, is about de- to happen. I just played Halo Reach. This is a devastating uh, secret attack by the covenant. Will where be. They, mm-hmm. Well, will be a devastating secret attack <laughs> where they're slaughtering farmers and civilians left and right. It's so sad. Mm. It's really sad. It's completely they have the farmers saddest farmers in Halo? War. Yeah. It, on, on Reach, Grunt it's a farm. Farming colony grunt farmers uh-huh. no not they grunt farm farmers. grunts no grunts are the little guys yeah, yeah that's what i'm I saying know, it's funny I know that grunts. there's a kind they front, of there's a them. kind of alien in halo that in universe doesn't matter at all <laughs> yeah they just don't yeah. and the, and their whole the reason they don't matter is because they're short yeah <laughs> <And> <laughs> we <laughs> have that too on earth <laughs> well i guess oh, right. what the hell? <laughs> i guess you're right it's just so funny and yeah, then when you kill yeah. them my wife made a great point i never thought about this before but every time you kill a grunt they go like one of the other ones goes like, oh, my God, it was his birthday today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they all say something so sad. War is hell, yeah. man. They're a complete tragic They're case. supposed to show how tragic war is. Yeah. It really is making me, as I've gotten older, the grunts are sad to me. Right. I used to think it was funny to pop their heads and make a birthday no. confetti. Nope. Now, it is not funny at all. They have little family. Imagine how small their kids are. Oh, they're probably an egg. If they're that big. Probably the size of an egg. Their kids are. Yeah, or maybe they are the kids. Yeah. You ever think about that? Maybe Holy they're just that's why they have birthday confetti. Just fucking yeah. adults do not walk around with confetti inside their skulls. That no. is like <laughs> that's childhood so true. pastime. That is true. That is true. You'd have to be very childish yeah. to yeah, do every that. kid to goes do through a like pinata that. phase. Stuck, stuck, they all stuck a bunch of confetti up their nose. Yeah. And then when you kill their big brothers, and if you kill all the big aliens, the grunts just don't know what to do. They start running around, they don't even fight you anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I usually let them live. I love in a video game where they have the enemy where it's like you kill their leader or you kill one of their friends and they they crouch down like and they have it in Elden Ring. They have it like in all the games where they and they crouch down and they cover their head and they go like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, that's, that, by the way, dude, it's I like know Jet now... Jet Force Gemini with the little koalas. I never koalas. played Jet Force Gemini. Gemini. Sick. But that game. means that grunts, that's who you really were the whole time. 
You mm-hmm. were putting on a face because you had a crush on the elite. Oh yeah, but so now really, the cats away the mice shall play. That was mm-hmm. the real Running fucking coward in fear. You're a coward, and who would have thought some guy whose name is Grunt? <laughs> That's right. The real you is you with a, a pulse rifle in your face, bitch. Yes, yeah. exactly. you are. A, <laughs> you are a guy who shits his pants. <laughs> 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 There's every day of your uh, every three years of your life up to this point. You thought you were a. Uh, you thought you liked finger painting. Nope. Nope. You thought you liked to eat candy? Nah, no, no, nah. No, you no. like lying in the dirt. Yeah, mm-hmm. you thought you liked eating, starting like to eat all That's foods. who you really are. Yeah, the Joker being like, and man, in their final moments, showing you who they really are. And they're just talking. They're all <laughs> pissing their pants. <laughs> <laughs> they all shit. They all like piss. to. They all like to bleed. They like to bleed a lot and pee and I'm shit and oh, jizz comes out. This they're is all saying, Oh my god! Do you god, nut I'm, when? You expel you expel every body. Fluid. So you nut. You cry and don't feel good. shit and piss at the same time, but you don't get to live the for the feeling. Oh, that you must die feel... before the. Fi- that's the ultimate pain of death. Do you think that there's anybody that, that you get has to do the, experience that is it? Came you get back? to do what I call the quattro. When you no, when no. you <laughs> so you don't I mean, get to it's it's science quattro. call it the quattro, where you pee shit <laughs> come and cry. When you when you like <laughs> void your bowels when you get electric chaired and you mm-hmm. like yeah. shit all over, all up in the chair. Does it electrify the shit? Well, yes. probably, almost definitely. But yeah. my question what if it is: comes is, to that, life? is that because is that because in your death <laughs> is it is it a thing where um. In your death, all your muscles spasm and they they shoot all the shit out. Or is it because you die and like the last line of defense, like the switch in your pelvic muscles oh. turns off and everything just falls out? Like, are, I, am I, I like, constantly holding all my shit in yeah. unconsciously? I like that theory. You of, are now pooping manually. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I, I like that theory that like we've developed that as a defense mechanism against bears and stuff. Yeah. Because if they get one guy and then they start eating him, he shits in their mouth. Yeah, he's not going to eat any more humans. That, a lot of animals do that. They go for the butt too. It's where the most meat is. That's why, like, you're holding a gecko or something, they'll mm-hmm. shit on you because they're scared. They want yeah. you to go. Ugh. But put it down. Do they That's know? cool that they does, learned that. Does every animal not yeah. like poop? Yeah, yeah some pe- animals like bad. poop. My dog fucking is addicted to yeah. poop. Your dog, dogs and as hogs dogs love are poop. addicted to poop because they have been inbred for ten thousand yeah. years. <laughs> really? Like, I thought it was a potassium oh my, issue. You might be my, right. <laughs> yeah, every single dog. The one loves animal poop. that likes eating poop just happens <laughs> to have been <laughs> forcefully inbred. Forcefully fucking its sisters yeah. and brothers for Yeah. <laughs> my dog is a years. combination of two dogs that are such very such different sizes that you know that some guy had to manually yeah. grab the male dog. <laughs> and shove it in like this. Yeah, what yeah. is what is your dog? Half, half like like a bunch of little dogs like Corgi and Dachshund and Chihuahua and then half German Shepherd. Oh my god. So that they had to either or the the little dog did it upside down, which could have been cool. Yeah, oh, cool because it's a lot of long. We'll have to see POV video at that. Tough well, the POV would have been the ground because it's yeah, on the ground. Exactly, you wouldn't see it. But you would have known which would have been hot. We, yeah. yeah. I know I meant the POV of the guy lying underneath them. <laughs> the, cam- the POV of the cameraman, <laughs> the breeder that has to watch and make sure everything worked. I think everything. Yeah, make sure it worked. <laughs> yeah. Do you, did you come yet? <laughs> do you know anybody hey, who got into breeding dogs? No. Mm, I do feel you? like I might know one soon. Yeah. <laughs> did you get Phil fixed? Yeah, I got him fixed. Oh. But okay. I know you got jars and jars. You were like, yeah. okay, we're getting you fixed next week, buddy. Well, I'm a prepper. Let's get, let's get all this shit out Dude, of here. Well, well, right. I want to know. I, yeah, I, froze, his, I froze his male eggs. You want yeah. you want Phil to, you want there to be more Phil's in the world? Fuck One million no. more Phil's? I fucking hate that dog. <laughs> I fucking hate him so much. Dude, I, I, I you're, I'm ready to dec- to declare my wars of the week. The oh, kind. yeah. It's, I, okay. it's speaking of, of this. All right. So basically, let me walk you through my day yesterday. Because I ha- I had two different fronts of war declared on me in the same day, Whoa. and so here's and it oh, was yeah. all because I started I had started having the best day ever, and That's God you know came and struck me bad. down in mm-hmm. a pincer formation. When you know things are going to be bad. It's when something's going good. Yeah. So I woke up. I wo- it was it was daylight savings, right? So I and war is giving me indigestion. I know it's pretty upsetting. And stressful. Uh, I woke up naturally very early at, at like 7:45 a.m. without even needing an alarm on mm-hmm. daylight savings. When it so it was actually even felt even earlier than that. Yeah, and I, my body was able to wake me up, which was incredible to me. That's a miracle. Great start. Mm-hmm. Went straight to the gym. Got out of bed. Just walked, went straight to the gym. Didn't. Dawdle, the gym was really full. Did right? not. Did not dawdle. 
the gym was nearly empty. Oh. I did not even have to wait for any of the machines I wanted. There was probably wow. about six or seven people there. Wow. And on top of having that freedom of getting to use all the machines mm-hmm. <laughs> in the day to day, do one rep on every machine in the gym. <laughs> Full uh, body work. I basically had the magic um, of like almost like a Planet Earth documentary or however you pronounce that movie that starts with a K, Koyan, uh, you know, the one with the Q in it. Some all of our nerd fans know that one. Um, where By the way, nerds, stop listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, the I got to gradually see the gym fill up and see people come in starting their morning. And you got to uh, judge them I a thought, little bit. My God. Now and I was doing my I was doing my my exercises and then in between sets I'm like, oh I forgot it's Monday. I gotta hit the crossword. But in between sets, don't even have to don't wow. even have to take any extra time. My fastest record for a crossword time ever. <laughs> On a Monday? On a Monday. What, what was nice. it? It was 240 something. You could oh. just lie and tell us it was one minute. Oh, 240 is a you, fucking you heat. You were right. just, it's just, part it's of your day. just a Monday. This, yeah, I mean, this was the best part of my day. Still, by you're far. on a heater, yeah. man. This was, it was. Yeah. Also, by the way, it man, was 243, baby. It, when you said you're having the best day ever, I was really expecting a higher peak. Than yeah. I don't um, have, have a good life. A good life. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. So that, we, by, I feel like we've kind of been hammering that home a lot lately. <laughs> and we maybe could. <laughs> Be a little nicer in that <laughs> regard about the things I like and what makes me happy. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, the list. Yeah. And now the crafts were. So, word. yeah, maybe we can <laughs> pretend that I'm like a mentally disabled guy in a Stephen King book or something. <laughs> and okay. That's so kind you have of a superpower. Right. Yeah. Oh, congrats. Yay. Um, okay, so then what happened? When did uh, the war start? The first attacks. Then I go. Attack. Then I, I, get, I get back home. I take a shower. I'm mm-hmm. nice and clean. I eat my breakfast. I'm like, all right, now time to go to the sketch meeting. Yeah. Um, I start walking to the sketch meeting. World's biggest army on tour. World's two, biggest army on tour. Uh, and I start walking to the sketch meeting. And now I'll just, I'll, I'll, I, this was the first war that got declared on me. Okay. I'm walking down the old street that I walked to get to the office. See, at the other end of the street, this little white dog, little fluffy white dog, very small. Mm-hmm. I mean, this big, small dog. He's walking around, no leash. Oh no master. God, no. But I've seen him before, uh-huh. and his his owner is just let him walk around and go pee, you know. Yeah, and, but yeah. usually they're sitting on the porch. It's like, oh, whatever. Um, but this time his owners were not there. He was just out on his own early in the morning, and well, it wasn't early anymore, I guess. And he uh, he sees me. He starts running towards me. No man. I, like I'm like, oh my god! I I am having such a great day. This is awesome. He's got this cute dog is coming over to say hello to me. This is and I like uh, I like start I walk over to the dog and it's like sprinting towards me. Uh, and he comes up to me and I'm like about, I'm starting to lean down to it and he goes <laughs> <laughs> oh. and starts jumping at me. Oh my god! <laughs> what did you and say I, the, to the What did you say to the, the dog? dog? Well, the fact that he said across the street. The fact he said it was across the street. I, I thought. I didn't mean it was across. I meant it was like down at the oh, other. Yeah, okay. yeah, I thought you way. meant no. that he was that going to. You were having the best day ever, and then that a would not be a war dog. on me. <laughs> That's a war on dogs. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been so. No, this awful. dog tries oh to God. fully attack me, mm-hmm. and I my my instinct is I cock back my foot to kick it. I like take a step back. <laughs> Take a step back, <laughs> put my foot back, and I out loud, out loud, I out loud say, "Whoa, man, watch!" <laughs> and the dog listened. It that listened was your fight in fight or flight. Yeah, I, I used yeah. to say, "Whoa, I, man!" That was full, full adrenaline. Yeah. was was whoa, man, watch out! Whoa, what are you? Do-? I think it was actually, "Whoa, man, what are you doing?" Whoa, yeah. man, what are you doing? I like well, it that. Was, whoa, that was I, I like that because whoa, whether man. or not you realize it at the moment, that was not for the dog. That was for everybody yeah. else. Uh-huh. No, because I'm like, there, no, there was nobody out on the street. Like, if this dog comes and bites me on the leg, that's probably mm-hmm. not going to hurt that bad because the tiny yeah. ass dog. Probably would have been fun. Little white dog. But what the fuck am I going to do? I have to go like ring everybody's doorbell, be like, your dog is out. Yeah, it's biting people. Like, so what did you do? How did you get out of this situation? Uh, well, I said, whoa, man, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. That made the dog back off. It was intimidated by was, my mm-hmm. masculine, strong voice. Yeah. yeah. Tell, uh, what, what, tell, give me the And then it just followed me. To, I literally, whoa, man, what are you doing? You didn't go, whoa, man. No. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, 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 man. Whoa, <laughs> Let's just man. go get a pizza. <laughs> and he went, oh, okay, But he just, still. he like followed me down the rest of the street. Like he was mm-hmm. like kind of making sure I was leaving. I, I was think slow. he probably thought that you were I his new owner. I was fully prepared to kick him. I would have kicked him into the street. You were on his block. I walked by that dog every yeah, day. Yeah, spin on you. He had, he probably has rabies. There's yeah. probably a Cujo situation brewing in that house. Anyway, that's the first war. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And that one I basically won. Yes. By running away from a tiny fluffy dog. Retreat is a way of winning. <laughs> Retreat is wins. Then I have a meeting, blah, 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 get home, and what do I get in my mailbox but a letter? 
Oh, I like letters from Santa. From the IRS. No. And guys, they are try they were trying to seize my assets and put a lien and or levy on my tax account because apparently I owed them money that they never told me that I owed them from 2021. And the letter said, okay. you, owe us, <laughs> you owe us this amount of money. And it was not a small amount of money. Okay. And they said, uh, due to COVID, we have not we have not been sending collection notices, but we just want you to know that you owe that now we've resumed sending the notices. You owe this much much money, and there's two years of interest on it. Oh, oh. man, that, they literally there was no way for me to know that I owed this money. That actually makes me feel so happy because statistically now I won't get <laughs> in trouble. Yeah. It's with happening the to all three, dude. I get I hate the I, they, I, think I get it in trouble with them too. every single know. year. Yeah, they all they fuck with me. And it so sucks. They literally, I was t I was saying this to my fiance. I think they have a flag on my mm -hmm. account that you can send this guy a letter and ask for five thousand dollars and it'll roll over and mm -hmm. pay it. They'll, I, they'll let you <laughs> fuck him in yeah. the ass. <laughs> I I really don't like the te uh, debt collecting, which is you know in the Bible used to be a sin. Yeah, it's literally a sin. It is a sin. You shouldn't do Nowadays, it. Nowadays people do it willy nilly. And you can't they... even, and it sucks too because you can't. Usually the way I get out of that stuff is I get on the phone, I cry, I say I'm going to fucking kill myself. Think you can't even get I'm on the phone with anybody about this shit. Yeah. Even if you get on the IRS, phone, so the IRS horrible. the only way you can contact them is a lit a handwritten letter that takes yeah. a year yeah. for them to respond to. And you and you you get on the phone with somebody either in the state tax stuff you get on the phone with those people and you're like please i'm gonna fucking do it i'll fucking yeah. kill myself so and they are trained crazy. to talk you out of it they start using therapy speak at you like a bunch of assholes I it's, hate they that. literally won't even tell me why i owe the extra money I, it's not like i'm not paying my taxes i pay it and then yeah. i send them it and they're like actually you owe us a bunch more money and uh we can't tell you the reason and yeah. we won't tell you what where you made them a mistake or why you owe it that's I mean, okay. you know what I, you know, it should have been the war on bureaucracy the this, move is you I call them and you say, I'm going to kill myself. I won't pay my taxes or I'll kill myself on this this bumpy road with a bunch yeah. of potholes or maybe this bridge that has not been taken mm -hmm. care of very well. Exactly. And yeah. then we'll see who's laughing. Yeah. yeah suicide by cop. Suicide yeah, by these cops that you keep paying. Who can't afford guns. Yeah. Or I'll go to Israel and kill myself. That's where all my taxes are going. Yeah. Political. Don't get political, political man. Political. What have I told but you? But anyway, this political. is all to say I've I've been in a kind of border skirmishes with the IRS for the past three or four years. Yeah. Um, Just every once in a while, shot this is official. Fired. This is mm -hmm. all out war, war on the IRS. War on the they <laughs> always listen. IRS. They have okay. always they always tell they're always like, oh, you owe this much money just because I guess on my taxes. Yeah. Which, which is, is not, not a, a big crime deal. To guess. It's guessing is lying. Literally, what you, it's literally the lottery. I'm, to the best of my knowledge, yes, this is. My, uh, the lottery, my hundred thousand dollars <laughs> yeah. of how much money I made. The lottery is literally part of taxes. Like that's. I have but, a hard yeah, time. It's just. It's lucky that I make thirty thousand dollars a year, or else I would be in big trouble right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a, a really hard time with the IRS because I just like bragging. Yeah. So I'm putting like everything on the IRS. I'm putting like deals that I haven't closed. How oh. I'm adding up everything I own and saying that that's my like net worth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they've been coming after me for near fifty four thousand uh, yeah. dollars. I God, genuinely think horrible. they have me on a list of you need to this. They check my taxes harder than everybody else and, and they try have to a big fuck red me. stamp. I that genuinely says think that they do. Your, I yeah. seriously think they do. And that's yeah. why it's fully. War. I think they have um, maybe like an asterisk next to my name and they think that I have every single time that I file. I do they so think much. I think I do so much wrong that they think that I have. They think you might be your ch your own child. Yeah, who's I'm my own filing, child who's uh, filing for myself. Accidentally got TurboTax on their iPad. Yeah, it's a game. I bought it so on Steam. Steam. A million. <laughs> I bought it on Steam. <laughs> I bought TurboTax on Steam. <laughs> so they know I've been, that I've been doubling my tax bill <laughs> because I bought TurboTax on Steam. Yeah. I, bought, I bought skins for it. Yeah, I'm doing all I have I stuff. have it looking like it looks like a uh, a kernel terminal. It looks like it's all green and like <laughs> yeah. I have different types. Of you skins. should be able to write all. Off CSGO cases. Oh, yeah. yeah. That should be an obvious write off. Yeah. That's a gambling loss. Mm -hmm. Easy. That's like unreal to me that they haven't done that. You can or write off Valorant gambling skins. losses. Yeah, yeah. You every didn't know single, that? Every single job that I do to, is a gamble. It's smarter whether or not I can to do gamble it. every single. This is yeah. this is uh, uh, financial advice. Mm -hmm. it, you should gamble every single dollar you have because it is a write off if you lose it. Yeah. yeah, and if you win it, then you double what your money. Even is the penalty for filing for bankruptcy because you can just get more money later. The penalty is you technically don't, don't get to own a house. Own, okay, you technically don't own anything. You have to like put it in like a different 
thing's name, like a company that you own. Yeah. It's really, it's just, it, it means nothing. Dude. Yeah. Oh, then I'll just do that. But bankrupt. I'll just do that still, every but you year. Have to, you still have to, like. You have to have no money. To pay your taxes. You'd yeah. have to fully liquidate everything and put no. all of your money into a different thing. I'll just put all my money on my girlfriend's name, on my student on loans. On her name? My my student loans, How are you all put, my medical debt. You're just saying you give your money to your girlfriend. No, 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 no. Put no. Your money, you can't put eight hundred dollars. No, in I'm somebody's putting all my name. debt. Is what I'm oh, saying. Oh, okay. So my student loans, money. my medical. Yeah, I'm yeah. reversing all. I'm doing Uno card uh, onto yeah. my girlfriend. <laughs> I really think that they should. And just, then we break up, and then she has all my debt. I yeah. don't. I the whole thing of like you you grow you, when you're young. You think like. Oh, we should tax everybody like a hundred percent, and then you get older and you start making money, and then like, oh, now you're kind of conservative. With right. It. I didn't think that the cutoff for me would be twenty five thousand dollars a year. <laughs> yeah. I thought it would be a lot more. Dude, than do you that. know what it is? Do you know what the reason the thing is? Is because we don't have withholding. Yeah. Yeah. That's, if we, it would be We're so just much easier. Smart. We're, We're so not good at dumb. anything. And, and the good. government is taking advantage of us. They yeah. really should. We should have a like handler I, from yeah. the government. I really, yeah. I, I, I can't even, I, I can't even put into words how angry this ta- this IRS situation yeah. makes. I forgot how mad I was about it, and then talking about it again, I'm like fuming. Yeah, I got I, a letter in the dude, mail. Fucking, I they sent me you. the letter to say you've owed this for two years, oh my God. and then I uh. opened my account to be like, what is this? What is it from? The, and it, and they say that just the thing on my account is a big flag that says you need to pay this immediately or we will like put a tax federal tax lien on I, your account. D- but What's a, a fe- lien? A lien is, a lien is when they, they'll lien. take money from your bank account. No, a lien is, is, do that. is that they say that they are going to take money from your bank account, okay. and then you can't get like your credit goes down. You, I think you usually can't open new lines That's of credit. That's already down. Like, I don't need it's that. Like it will, I and then you can, and then you can get it removed by paying it. Like I think they eventually will take it, but the lien is like they're saying this is our money. I'm fine if they go into my bank. I would actually yeah. prefer if they went into my bank account and took the exact amount Dude, of money. Dude, I wanted somebody to be like, I'm not gonna fucking pay this. Just put like take yeah. it from me. Take but everything. It, but, like yeah. I want to buy. I don't house. matter. I don't matter at I don't all. Ma- nothing take I do is of me. any worth. Dude, it doesn't yeah. matter. It needs to go build a new shirt for the overseas people or something. Or whatever they use tax money for nowadays. What do they use it for? Bombs and their guns well, and their dude, bombs. Their bombs and their guns. Yeah, it's in been the heads? same old thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, since a long time ago. Since I don't remember like what year? Eleven <laughs> hundred. <laughs> Is that what it says on the side? Since eleven hundred. Well, it's about zombies. They, those have been around for since the Middle Which, Ages. Speaking well, of wait, the IRS, when did the umbrella? Since nineteen ninety-seven. When did the umbrella? The umbrella Blitz Corporation. Umbrella Corporation. Zombies. I thought you were going to say Umbrella Academy. That was a disappointing song when you listened to the lyrics. It's about yeah. the uh, almost nothing uh, is about IRA. zombies. It's about these with fucking their teeth and their brains and, and their, their fangs rot. and their scabs. <laughs> So so what things bit. do zombies have? Zombies don't have much. That's part of their thing. <laughs> they yeah. actually have less than a normal person. Yeah. I know about zombies. Mm-hmm. No, zombies have d- scattered, have s- tattered, yeah. anyway. scattered pros, daggered pros, staggered pose. Yeah, Pierce used to do that. On yeah, mm-hmm. Pierce would do that, that when he would open maybe, for maybe, us. Maybe 150 people. Um, know what we're talking about. Yeah. That's okay. Well, if you saw us on tour the first time, you know. So that's your war. Two, yeah, two multiple, and I, I feel like I basically won the war against this dog, and I will say I fully am, uh, again, I'm not afraid. If this dog comes after me again, I will kick it. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm really not afraid. You to gotta go, Anchor Man. I was ready to kick it even without it biting me. Wow, you are Anchor Man. I, I have Man, no Jack problem Black kicking vibes. this dog. Um, yeah. I just want to put that out onto the. <laughs> into you have no problem. When you get in dog. trouble in like two this days. Dog, when you're I'm on not gonna sit- get in when trouble. there's a video of you on Citizen and some little like lady is yelling at you because you kicked yeah. your dog and you're going, "What's up, motherfucker? Some, yeah. What's <laughs> up, motherfuckers?" Some Mexican Podcast lady who's lived in this bitch. neighborhood for, for yeah. her family's yeah. been here you for 150 up. years. You've been here for <laughs> one year. You kick their dog and then they're like, <laughs> "Their dog barks at me. I kick it across taking, the street." Taking footage. <laughs> what the Dress fuck is up, up, bitch? What up, bitch? I'm from Podcast about this. What the fuck is up, bitch? I kicked your dog, bitch. Yeah. But really, you what would you, what would you do if, this, me, if a dog ran up to you like that, little ass uh-huh. dog, and started biting your leg? And there's uh, ghost town, nothing, nobody is out. Uh-huh. I would literally not walk, even a car. I would walk street. into my office job with the dog attached to my leg. Yeah, just you would to not show even, how tough I was. Really? True. Okay. In yeah. the immediate Which is situation, a masculine you're just thing. you're just walking. Because if you walk into it, yeah, it is a masculine thing. If you walk into your job and and you say like, "Hey, good to see you, Greg. Oh, what's up, uh, Michael?" Buja. And then you turn around, and there's a bat that's stuck <laughs> to your neck. Inclusive. I don't know. 
a bat stuck to your neck and it's sucking your blood or whatever yeah. bats do, you're getting a promotion, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. they're going to say that guy that can withstand. Guy, holy shit. And if he, and if that guy's going to uh, be the janitor, the super janitor. Yeah, and if now. we don't promote this guy, he will suck our blood. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Wait, that guy's turning into a vampire. You the boss. <laughs> you the boss, you the boss immediately. I'm you're scared of count. you. You're mm-hmm. getting a promotion to count. <laughs> you are being promoted to the count of the, of the janitorial <laughs> count staff. Count of WeWork. <laughs> I am the have count, count of WeWork. Yeah. <laughs> can we set up our corporate structure so that we have a count. There should be. I'm. We could be a tri count council. Yeah, mm-hmm. a council. A oh council. My God, that'd a be council. So amazing. We should. What's change? the taxes on being a count? You pay no taxes. Yeah. Oh, because people pay you tithes. Well, you just don't have. Like, you're not taking advantage of any like public stuff. Mm. Right. You know, because you can't. Well, even I'm go not. Out I don't. I don't day. take advantage of any fucking. That's public a thing, thing, man. I don't. You are a welfare queen. You are. I am a wel- not a welfare. You are a welfare, welfare queen. queen. What are you talking about? You're always on welfare. <laughs> Oh yeah, well yeah. yeah, well yeah. I get welfare like from the government. Like you get welfare and food stamps, and yeah. you're, and you have a bunch of. Well, how else am I going to buy food? I've already bought like new guitars and new types of other things. That's why, yo, honestly, I love being on food stamps. If you knew fill out paperwork, you'd be a welfare queen. Yeah. I love being on food stamps, but the <laughs> yeah. thing I hate about them is I hate fucking licking them every time my tongue gets so dry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. grocery it, store. I don't want to, and uh, yeah, you have to put it on the cashier's head. Yeah. Sticking it on the food. It's all on a card now. Yeah. yeah. It's just a card. What the yeah. fuck is wrong with it's society? It's not very tasty. You don't even get a stamp anymore. It's the same thing as arcades. And let, me Busters. Guess, let me guess. It's tap to pay with the food stamps it's now. It's tap to pay now. Yeah. And you, oh, and you can after pay with food stamps. I've seen people do that. And use that. Clorm. That's what's what it called? Klarna. Klarna. Klarm. Ben did that with one beer at KGB. After paid a beer? <laughs> after paid a beer. With food stamps? <laughs> no, 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 no. Just did after pay on one beer at a bar. Uh, so it was like, was he bro- really broke? Or was no, it was just, just funny, I think. Okay. Ask Ben. Ask okay. Ben. Let's ben, ask why ben. did you do that? Ben, why'd you? That was odd. I've never had ben Mora. The, I've never felt like after paying something. I've never after paid anything in my I've life. I've after paid a few things. My I think int- it's a pretty good sign to me that if I'm going to after pay for something, I probably shouldn't buy did it. You, you can after pay the well, it uh, makes your passport. credit go up. Really? Yeah. yeah. Did, did, That's why my credit. Like did you guys grow up sunk. with? Did your family always say like, uh, like never open a credit card? Credit cards yeah. are terrible. And then your family is like the brokest, dumbest people because with they money all have credit because cards. None of them. Yeah. No, none of them have credit. Like they never uh, built credit ever because they just thought that it was evil to have a credit card because of That's church. Funny. That's what I was trying to do was not get a credit card. Then I had one with a five hundred dollar limit. It's and fucking I had awesome. To, it's free money. I love yeah. credit. Card. Then I had to spend a bunch on wisdom tooth surgery. So then. That is not what credit. you want to be swiping the, no. the Amex for. I want to be buying <laughs> bottles of Grey Goose. It better be coming in two at big the club. bags. I literally want to go on a... Sh- I have been feeling like going on a shopping spree so yeah. fucking we badly. Need to, I told... Uh, well, that never uh, worked out. What, the shopping we, spree? When I signed up for business files, I don't know. They still owe us... Verizon owes us $300 they on a gift card. They don't owe us $300. It was a signing man. bonus. They owe us a signing bonus a that they never sent. A signing bonus. They owe us a signing bonus that they never sent. Verizon, that's who I'm on a war with today because you guys keep canceling our... <laughs> the auto pay doesn't work. I think it's actually a problem with the the payroll company that we use that also has our credit cards, but that never works. And you never sent us our three hundred dollar Visa gift card signing for, bonus that we were going to do a shopping spree context, episode with. This was a year ago now that we signed up for Verizon, and I would the call Apple them Verizon. every we month. Signed, you mean we signed with? Signed with? Sorry, signed with and got the signing bonus with. We signed yeah. with Verizon. We got Verizon. the advance we from signed Verizon. With Verizon guys. Uh, we have a three sixty deal with Verizon, mm-hmm. and Patrick kept. Every single time we'd be in the office, he would check the mail for this three hundred dollar credit card. I still check it every day. We were supposed to do the shopping spree episode. We were all going to wear GoPros and the road mics. We were going to walk around and, do and we, were gonna, we were going to like like that, that episode of Evil really Bam where they go to Mall of America. I think this is a bad. That was idea. my idea. A hundred dollars. Yeah. But you've you've you've. It, I th- I agree that I think it would be a terrible podcast episode. But, it'd but be a I good think video. here, I, well, I think here you've engaged kind of your master uh, stratagem, which is now we're going to get a bunch of comments that say that actually would be a good podcast episode from people I who don't know anything about. It. They don't know anything the about the production mm. and the fact that we'd no. have to actually do it. We'd right. have to which go is, to the mall. I hate doing stuff. We'd have to go to the. Oh, I would hate having to go to the Queen Center Mall and having a day of shopping sprees. But dude, the thing is, if I go into a mall, I ain't spending less than five grand. True. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've never been in the mall and left. We should have go we to, I go to the get food. $100 and we go to Saks Fifth Ave. Yes, dude. And I'm buying all sorts of I go, sweatshirts. I, go, I walk into the mall. I walk into the food court. I go up to the person with the free samples. Mm-hmm. I, say, I, know it's, I say, I know it's free. Let me buy the whole stock. Mm-hmm. I say, no, not just what's on the platter. Go in the fucking back. Get yeah. every sample you have. Every sample. Get Give me all that bourbon chicken. You. And listen, I know technically the price for that, all the samples, should be zero dollars. They're free. I'm gonna pay you 
10 bucks. Mm. And they'll say yes. Yeah. That's would that said, be that the, is literally an infinite percent. Would that be the challenge of the episode? Move. The challenge of the episode would be who can get the most try stuff. To who can get the most stuff with yeah, $100. No, those bastards at we GameStop just, are such just kind of mall and shit, haggle man. with everybody. Why are the people at GameStop so mean to me? Probably your personality. My personality is so delightful. You go no, you go into GameStop. You're like, I don't walk you're doing in that. Like this. Fuck I may, you. Maybe if I have a fistful of money. No, no, no. You're and I'm going trying to in. pay them like this. <laughs> you're doing this. No, I'm not. You I don't have, have your arm cocked, cocked fist. so far back that it's behind your I'm head. Scratching my head. You're doing wondering this. how oh. games got to be seventy dollars now. Seventy dollars is crazy. It what is the, crazy. Well, that's another part of the war on men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would well, say guys. That, there's the price on every skateboards are now seventy five dollars. It's called a man. That's tax. okay. So skateboard should be one hundred seventy five dollars. Yeah. yeah, I think skateboard should be. Everyone gets more $4, money. $4, everyone gets more money out of it. Sure, but I, would I don't want to pay that. I want you to be paying. That. We want a tax on skateboarding. I, don't, I want. There I want. The, I it. want skateboards to be five hundred dollars, and the skateboarding people who make, and the people who make and sell the, the skateboards do not get the money. Yeah, yes. the same. The amount money of fun goes in directly them. into my pocket. It should go to rock bands. Yeah. Yeah. Rock band controllers. No, you it get should those. go to random rock bands all over. Should the world. be a subsidy, a rock and roll yeah. subsidy. We should yeah. be subsidizing. I mean, that's how we end. We do the, need to be subsidizing. We need rock to get and first roll. of all. Yeah. We need to get a man in the White House. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's been a couple of years. If you ask me, not this wimp. Not this fucking yeah. kid. Mm-hmm. Well, he's old. Not this old kid. And yeah. then before that, it was another old kid. And before that, it was a woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then before that, it was George Bush, and he was cool. But. We need a man who's going to put a skateboard tax, a rock and roll subsidy, so that rock bands all over the country get tons of d- uh, money for expensive condoms yeah. and expensive... What else do rock bands like? Beer. Uh, of uh, Jack Daniels. Uh, well, here's a clear example of how, when we were growing up, how many necks were there on the average rock band's guitar? Two, if two. you were Jimmy two. Page. Yeah. On two. average, because well, some five. of them had three. Cheap trick yeah. had five. And yeah, well, exactly. think, that's how an average works. You okay. Know? But now, I haven't seen more than one neck on a guitar, and it feels like... Average has been brought yeah. down to one half. Yeah, because the, of some of these necklace and headless. Yeah. They think guitars. that it's. They think mm-hmm. that it's. It's because of the introduction. Some, they're of making guitars now that have that have heads but not necks. Yeah. <laughs> Say psych. I can't say psych. But but I w- made it up. And now they have... But <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't say psych. Yeah, not going to say, say psych, no, but the, it's not the true. State, <laughs> the state of rock is so disgusting. I listened to that song. You know what brought me back the other day? I listened to that song. It's like, really good to hear your voice. Call Saying my, my name, it sounds so Lips of an sweet. Angel by Hinder. Yes. And I was like, this. Is, if I could teleport to one moment in time and sit there forever, it would be sitting in a really bad car listening to that song well, your yeah. mom and, blows having, smoke in the and back. having dollar menu food because oh, mm-hmm. that is when America was actually that, cool. I genuinely like got nostalgic. I saw the Taco Bell menu from 2008 where everything was like a dollar and it had like it was like a like a marquee like a movie yeah yeah I, I, miss, I, I, miss I, those I hate menus. that that made me so nostalgic don't show did. me these TV menus I have a TV yeah. at home that I already have the menu There's sitting on so on. I can yeah. watch yeah. Okay? exactly I have a best of I sit that down on the couch and I watch all my favorite items from every mm-hmm. menu best of Wendy's best of Taco where Bell someone, exactly where, where someone buys a TV from like Facebook Marketplace and they go plug it in and turn it on and it's locked into the McDonald's mm-hmm. menu <laughs> it's always <laughs> it's always that's great. so up. funny yeah. <laughs> But, but yeah, a fucking and giant ass TV. Be like, yo, I, I got this for ones, fifteen bucks. <laughs> I miss the Captain Underpants menus, where if you could, if you worked there, you could conceivably yes. go and make the the burritos. Cafeterias. Say, what, say and what happened ire. to cafeterias? Yeah, it, you well, barely, barely ever go there anymore. anymore. Yeah, I don't even see. I haven't seen a lunch lady since I was eight or seventeen. Lunch lady used to be a perfect school. example yeah. of something that was disgusting, and now we don't even have that as a culture anymore. No, we have a it's robot. Gone. We have a robot. What's or that? some kind of, or some kind of, ro- or it's, now it's like a lunch man because they're you making men think, work bad jobs. You know, I think you remember when we were growing up, we had auto mats. No, you don't remember that. What's no. that? Where you'd go in auto bots? No, it was an automated diner. You'd go in, you get a tray of lunch and some coffee. Never been. And it would cost a nickel. Heard of this. Are you sure you're not thinking of the future? Yeah. Are you thinking of the well, future? Well, it was futuristic when it came out, in, I think the two thousands. So it wasn't the future. You said it was futuristic. It was when futuristic, it came out. but it wasn't in the future. But they were really, really good. That was like the mm-hmm. best food ever. The best food ever, I think, is not that. I think it's probably from <laughs> maybe like a nice restaurant or something. Or 
You think the best food might be from a nice restaurant? The best restaurant. I think the best food would come from the best restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Wait. It, yeah. It's hard to disagree. It's true as fuck, man. With mm. a lot of what you're saying. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's just the thought I have, I guess. All right, guys. Let me let me explain this war to everybody. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to twirl my hair but masculinely. Show and learn with Cameron Fetter. A swashbuckling descent into the world of archaeology and war. Sponsored by the Smithsonian Institute. Okay, guys. So basically, today's war is the war on masculinity. And today, instead of looking at a single artifact from this, during this week's war, we're going to be doing things a little differently. I'll be showing and talking about two different artifacts, one from before the war on masculinity okay. and one from after. We'll be able to compare and contrast these items and deepen our learning. So here is our pre-war artifact back from the days when masculinity was still going strong. <laughs> this is oh a DVD God. copy of Heat. Mm -hmm. There's so a lot going on Let's here. analyze it. I yeah. have a whole analysis to read for you guys. First of all, strong masculine name, Heat. Mm -hmm. Reminds us of fire or spicy Indian food of the type that girly girls don't like. Pictures of strong masculine men are on the cover here. And say the names of them. Um, they're all boy names uh, except for Val. Which is a girl's name. <laughs> no, it's short for Valorant. Val is a is a boy. So Valorant it's Kilmer. Okay. Valorant's um, a girl game. What a name? It says name. It says a Los Angeles crime saga. Wow, very very masculine. Very masculine. Los Angeles not so masculine, but well, crime it used to be, is though. kind of like a, being anti yeah. against the city. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, onto the case itself. We have a DVD snap case. It's got it's this classic oh, style. Oh, I, I used to sit there in the two thousands. This one, the snap is broken. Oh which is because a strong masculine man was using mm. it too much. <laughs> uh, and who could that be? <laughs> <laughs> whoever whoever uh, owned it before, I bought it at the MAGA flea market in New Hampshire. Whoa, that oh, that wasn't masculine, Oh, yeah, man. the Londonderry flea market? Uh, no. Oh, um, bummer. The, it has a paper cover, okay? Yeah. This case is sleek, but not stylish enough or good enough at protecting the disc to be gay. Yes. Mm -hmm. The back of the case has the names of more men, John Voigt, Tom Sizemore, um, and even a guy named Michael Mann. And yes. John Voigt, that's going to be the most masculine man ever because he had a hot daughter. Yes, which absolutely. Which like, must have been a problem for him. Um, we see here it's rated R instead of being rated G for girly girls. Mm-hmm. Um, or PG for pretty girls. Um, and it's a 172 minutes, which is the perfect length to quickly rewatch while your fiance gets a haircut. Yep. And you have nothing else to <laughs> Pound do. Pound that out. <laughs> Pound that out. Uh, we even have a picture here on the back of what the DVD menu looks like. Bring wow. that back. So we know what the menu will look like before we even put the DVD into our PS4. Which could be for a lot of people a a uh, selling point where right. they don't know if they're exactly. going to buy the movie. But it's, and it says oh, it's also features. There's also no need Extras. to waste time being indecisive, waffling, female, mm -hmm. feminine trait to be indecisive. Uh, all you have, you, you know, a girl might put a movie in, not look at the back of the case and go, oh, I wonder if there's special features. Oh, do they have you a stills gallery? Can I watch the trailer? Bitch, of course there's a Me, stills like, gallery. Yeah, I've studied gallery. this already. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I just have to find play movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Where right. is it? That's right. Where is it? Where is it? Sitting Where there in it? the menu for, and now that's an extra 45 minutes on the runtime of the movie. And let's, now let's open the case inside oh, here. Oh, wow. Fuck, that's we good. have a scene index. Wait, let's smell it. We have a, we can smell it at the end. Okay. We have a scene index here, which has all of our favorite scenes listed out so we can rewatch them easily without having to go on YouTube to find one of our compilations. Can you tell mm -hmm. me the name of one of the scenes of this movie? Yeah, listen, to, let's read some masculine, <laughs> some masculine <laughs> scenes here. <laughs> Quick on the trigger. Ooh. Oh my god! Deals in the works. So good. A, le a lead on slick. Oh, scene number eighteen: the Grim Reaper visits. Wow. Followed by scene number nineteen: a mother's pain. Dude, I like that one. That's mm -hmm. really masculine. Uh, number twenty-six: invitation to coffee. Not so. Uh, it's kind of <laughs> gay. Yeah. yeah. Number thirty-four: fallout. Number yes. thirty-five: the source of the leak. Thirty-six: my, revenge. My 37, Charlene's Choice. Oh, 40, God. no point. 42, TV to go. What does that mean? That's the ultimate guy product. Yeah. That's what that is. TV on the go. TV, and I'll have that to go. 52, end credits. 
Those are some amazing names. I mean, that's nothing mm-hmm. gets more masculine than that. I'd yeah. Say. Um, and also, this movie has over fifty scenes. Most female Whoa. movies have only one or two scenes. Fifty, seen at 50 the, states. Seen at the diner. Seen at the home. Mm-hmm. Most masculine country. Tom's Diner. America. Female mm-hmm. singer. Pat, give me a little um, smell review of this DVD real quick. Now what that you, now that getting? doesn't have a smell. Let me smell it. I'll be the judge of this. Does not even have one smell, even one bit. No, there's something faint here, man. Let me. Smell what is it? it? Smell of paper? It is the <laughs> smell of like your dad's copy of Moby Dick. Where Maybe he, it's your dad's like, copy of Heat. He's like uh, opened. He's the first two chapters have been wow, ran through. Wow, I can through smell a mangrove forest. Mangrow, men growing. I'm smelling really kind of naturey. A yeah. naturey undertone. It kind of seems like it has no smell, and then and then you're getting. Let me get another. And then whiff. once you read getting, the things, you're getting a slight hint of sandalwood. <laughs> Maybe I can't smell because I have COVID. Yeah, you probably have COVID. Yeah. Um, guys, now let's take a look at the disc. So the disc here on in the case looks like a boob, which is feminine, Woo! but to touch and grab a boob is masculine. Yes. Which and you have to put your finger on the middle. That's how I grab a to grab too. I put my finger in the you middle. Put your hands like on the it's edge. A bowling I do it just finger. like this, and I try to yeah. take it off and mm-hmm. put it on my TV uh, so I can. <laughs> now let's take a look. We got obviously a picture of the of the movie on the front. Mm-hmm. On the back side, take a look at this. Scratch to complete shit. Yeah. <laughs> Battle scarred. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Masculine. This is very masculine. Unafraid to show strength and damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, if you look at a certain angle, it shimmers with uh, hidden color, mm. kind of the side of masculinity where a rough, rugged exterior, but on the inside, maybe yes. a beautiful rainbow emotion and also oh, has no. a, a movie on it. And then also it's it's reflective. So and, and the scratches aid in that where you look at it, and you say, God, I'm so rugged and scratched yeah. mm-hmm. up. I've had such a hard life being a man. And there's also a hole in the middle of my face. <laughs> yeah. From where a my, bullet yeah. shot me in the head. <laughs> That's so so this guy's I mean, I think just through this analysis, we can tell that this item from pre-war masculinity uh, is from a golden age of masculinity. That's a relic. Mm-hmm. This it really is, is. A, that, that is a right true here. relic. Um, and now let's take a look at a post-war artifact after the war on masculinity this is a comparable item so so, uh, something that fulfills the same role but from a time period where masculinity has been beaten into the ground and essentially eviscerated Uh by female and feminine forces so let me get this out of my backpack here wait there's There's nothing nothing in your arm there's nothing in my hand or your hand we men have nothing wow We've lost everything. Why is that? Because of wokeness. Because of femality. Because of femality Femoids. and wokenessness. Femoids have destroyed. I wish I world. had a second artifact, guys, but they're just and they're making they're maybe making heat too. But, but it'll it probably be probably, probably be canceled. It's probably woman. about probably dead in the water by David Zaslav's wife will probably it's cancel. It's probably it. about a hot glue gun and doing crafts with yeah. it. Yeah. It's probably called It's probably about blow dryers and hair about products. Blow jobs, it's probably called giving them and not getting it's them. It's probably mm-hmm. called sheet. She because it's like she, but also like shit. Or it's yeah, so good, it's called she. she. Oh, like it's oh, so like good, you go she. like she. she. Like, yeah. Damn, that's yeah. good. Mm-hmm. And this is all because of of wokeness infecting every single aspect yeah. of our lives. Now, yeah. wokeness I remember the killed first masculinity. Time I realized that the world was getting woke, I was born, and then I looked at my mom, and she was a girl, mm-hmm. and I was like, "This is getting to be a real problem." This is gonna yeah. this is gonna bite yeah. me one day. At least and my mom bit me. me. I was born to a girl. My mom bit mm. me. And my mom bit me on to leave finger. her mark on me. Mm. She bit you? Femoid mark. Bit me on the finger. She bit you on the finger. To turn me to try and turn me into a wear girl. Really? Is this mm. true? This is true. when you were born? This is when I was three. And I remember the, uh, another big thing was in I think the, it worked. Two thousand nine the the um <laughs> the cooties outbreak. Yeah, yes. after the financial that? crisis. Remember with the cooties outbreak, and the, the government did nothing. They let mm-hmm. cooties no. eviscerate the male community. I mean, and let me, so I'm going to drop a knowledge yeah. bomb on you right now. It's not that the government did nothing. They did something. They planted cooties. Whoa. They were the ones who I released. I treat the cash to stay the way, same way the government treats cooties. I won't be satisfied until all, all the men get it. Mm-hmm. Get it? Yeah. So they basically were doing tests to see if they could, uh, what would happen. Mm. And what they wanted to happen was bad things. Yes, I and the bad the, things the happened. Cooties. Bad things happened, and it's as the fault of the government again. Mm-hmm. The IRS, the CIR, the, the cooties the, uh, breakout. I remember it was the same time that movie The Happening came out. Yeah, I was like, wait, 
it's the same shit. Honestly, same that movie exactly. blow drying so, their hair. Men are blow drying their hair, looking vacant looks, looking into the mirror. Mm-hmm. The That's title gay. of that movie is so fucking prescient. Yeah, the happening because something happened. Because something really was happening. Something I, every, was every, happening. Literally or is every happening year today. since that movie dropped, I look at the poster of it that I have on the ceiling above my bed, yep. and I think it's getting truer every year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty soon. Su- Don't mean, never watch the movie. <laughs> Don't know what right. happens in it, but you know, damn that happening? title. No, it's a. I'm saying it for this. But it's the poster. Yeah. It's so. Awesome. I know. I love that movie. It's great. It's so sick. It's basically, it was telling a joke. I think it scared me more than any other movie. It's when a I was great a kid, movie. Though. I can't believe people hate that movie. Because of the seen bee it. thing, it's like that's a cool twist. What is Because of a bee? The, the issue was I've it's like the it. bee's revenge. Oh, oh, it's the bee's revenge? The I don't even bees remember that. are being eradicated. I thought it was the plants. No, wait, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 you're right. Sorry. It's the plants and the bees. You have to stay with the bees or something? Yeah. I don't remember, actually. Me neither. But I'm guessing. Well, I thought it. it was the wind and then it was the plants. Yeah. Mm. The plants Which wind, are caused by If you're losing the wind, wind mm-hmm. you already lost. Because mm-hmm. wind Whole is going to be... What a great... I'm going to go rewatch that movie, man. Yeah. I love that movie. I got really scared. The day that I watched it, I, there was somebody in my neighborhood using a wood chipper. And I freaked the fuck out. <laughs> oh. and I called my grandma. Mark Wahlberg as a science teacher is really funny too. <laughs> yeah, he would be. I do have to see this. <laughs> you never seen it? <laughs> no, dude? I have to see. It's it. so awesome. He plays the same guy he plays in every movie. Yeah. Though. Why would you cast? Him? Yeah, I don't know. You should have casted Michael Sarah. Yeah. He would have been good. He wouldn't and be more like a student. Although, mm, honestly, true. he was young at the time. Honestly, Michael Sarah, <laughs> Michael Sarah was the beginning, maybe, of the war of the end. Definitely, yeah. like, this is our leading man. And I was trying to slink woke. back into movies again, yeah. guys. Because you worm, of woke. get the fuck out of here, get bro. Get away. You and ruined you know what? the generation of men with Scott Pilgrim. Canadian mm-hmm. worm, leave. <laughs> now let me let me just tell you guys something. I think I have the song that's going to cure the virus that is woke. Really. really? Mm-hmm. I have a song that I wrote. This is not a song that I found. You might Whoa. even say you have the vaccine. So this is for your wokeness. debut, the first ever song that you've written for By the show. By Sullivan the Frog Enterprises L- LLC. Oh well, my that, god! Oh shit! For, you have the diplomats logo. for tax purposes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that is actually so fire. Now let's see it. Let's the hear diplomats. it. Diplomats. Oh my god! The rock just fire. Oh, oh. something's going on. Something is wrong. Woke with the cable. Oh. oh. No, Julio, can you buffering. like? Can you make the no? The can Verizon, you, yeah, Verizon maybe make everything again. Fix this is probably because of right. Okay, now it's gone. What Wait, the hell is this? this is not the song. Oh my God! What? Anonymous? We are Legion. Oh wait, I actually fell for that. Me too. My fucking God. <laughs> Greetings, podcast Fuck. list. What? We are anonymous. We have gone completely woke. No. We heard that you are about to release a song that would topple wokeness and destroy everything that we have built. We do not like that. <laughs> Using deep fake voice technology, we have fixed your song lyrics to fall in line with what we believe. Oh my god. Jesus. We hope you enjoy it. I'm not gonna enjoy it. Not. Oh. No. Okay, good. Well, they're right about that. Oh no. What abomination is going to happen I, here? This is going to be horrible. Wokeness is the greatest thing on planet Earth. If oh. you disagree with that, I'm going to put you in a hearse. I love Funko Pops and no. the Marvel Universe. Oh. I have the pride flag on my oh pink my God. converse. I sprinkle woke ideas into all of my verses. In the pandemic, I was clapping for nurses. No! Whatever based is, I like what reverses. <laughs> no, I think all men should be carrying purses. Jesus I think that we should call in armed forces and put woke in school into all of the courses. I think white men should be turned into horses. Used for transport cool. with packs on their backs. Cut their balls no! off with a woodcutter's ass. My balls! I think no movie should have Luckily, Jack Black. Shut up. It should be a girl who Who's named Jacqueline Black? I think School of Rock is crazy the whack. There's not Link enough later. woke or any pro Zach. I love mental health, hate trickle down wealth. I think USA should have stayed a Commonwealth. Football is lame, what a dumb, stupid game. Unless you mean soccer, the world's favorite no. game. No, that's Men bullshit. should be taking all their wife's surnames. No. Sugar should be replaced with all aspartame. I like when bars have hella board games. Uh, yeah, actually. Feminism should be no. in all video games. Say, I love say. when a quote's in embroidery frames. <laughs> yeah, we're young woke. That's what we make, what? What is that saying? What is that? Or we're young woke. That's what we make, what? What? What does that say? Oh, we're young woke. 
摧毁美国。Are we on woke? I don't know what that was. Is that、But、a? We got completely hacked by anonymous. Is that a reverse?、Jeez. That might have been reverse. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it was. I really don't know、okay. what that was. I really was it Chinese? What was it? It might. Oh my god! It might have been. So you're just not going to tell us what it, you didn't、it、put in a translation, or、uh, maybe somebody forgot what the translation precisely was. <laughs> But it was a different language. You know that much? Maybe it was "I will destroy USA with woke" in Chinese. Oh,、okay. see, but, but China, that's what anonymous like, did. Was China's anti woke. China's anti woke. China's cooler than the U.S. by、yeah. a long shot. Maybe they it is reversed then. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe anonymous <laughs> doesn't know exactly even what they're even what、thinking. they were doing. Anonymous has gone completely woke. I know. They, really they only have you seen when you walk around and like a, if you're in a crowded city square and、mm -hmm. um, the anonymous will stand around and they have the they they stand around holding the. Computer screens, the、yeah. monitors, and they play videos of factory farming. Yeah, that's all they do anymore. They only really. They only. It's so funny, dude. They yeah. They, they used to be cool, all they care. They're just PETA now. They used to be like trying to like they would hack Final Fantasy to put a bigger boob. Dude, in it. it's、mm -hmm. so funny to look to look back on. I, I mean, I, I I feel like I was very much on the very invested in the in internet culture. I mean, I was、anonymous、a part was. of Anonymous for like <laughs>、yeah. years and years. Well, just thinking Anonymous, like, damn, that's crazy. That's so cool. And think back on it, it's like them. Like, it's like it's probably like one guy. Who like is not as so it's like they probably did like it's a group of people who hacked one or two、uh -huh. things right and then there's some guy who buys the mask and sits in his in his room and like puts on a voice modulator and is like just to like a random person on the lines like we saw that you said <laughs> the video game was bad <laughs> we all of us、Now、will be hacking、pissed. you <laughs> you will be hacked very very soon it is funny that video um that anonymous put in the video、mm -hmm. right was uh. Originally, from a video that was saying that they are going to decentralize all the economies and that Bitcoin and blockchain is the future, <laughs> and they literally <laughs> did that shit. Yeah, it's so funny the the range of of messages that yeah, they have from yeah. being like yeah from being like that to be like we saw that you you were on your blog Mario you should that, not have a pink <laughs> option in Super Smash Brothers Brawl. <laughs> Remove Peach as a playable Remove character. Remove Peach. There should never、Keep、be Daisy, a girl. Keep Daisy though. I like Daisy. I like Daisy and <laughs> Rosalina. Yeah, apparently Gamergate's coming back, and I'm ready to fight again.、Mm -hmm. That'll be again another thing in the war. Finishing this fight. Yeah. Yeah. What, what was that? that? There was something called like、um, Smiley Cloud Incorporated or something, or like there was some PR firm. Oh yeah, it was a company that like、uh, some PR firm they, that was making were, games woke. They consulted on games. To make them wokely, <laughs> yeah. And then the guy, the guy had a bunch of Twitter posts where he was like, "I just saw a white person and walked the other way." Hashtag they stink, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny.、And、What an I, incredible job is, to have! I can't imagine reading a story like that and being mad at that guy. Yeah. Instead of just being like,、yeah. "That is What a, yeah, that guy、job. rules." Yeah. That's you, do、awesome. you think you could make? Do you think you could make insane bank right now, starting a consulting firm for anti woke to make, and video, make games? video games more? Like, yeah. If your if your video game is too, you're worried your video game is too woke.、Mm -hmm. Hire us and we'll, well then, consult. Well, that's how it. it should be. It should be a okay. A, first of all, I'm just make them all white. <laughs> all right, that's, that's <laughs> and, we're, and we're done. <laughs> make them white、dollars. guys. I think that they they should with, with stuff like that. If they're gonna you're gonna hire one, you have to hire both at the same time,、yeah. and then let them find somewhere、right. in the middle. Well, that's kind of like、I'm、putting a, a humidifier、man. and dehumidifier in the same. I'm room, like John Stewart. I think that both sides should be getting like, shit on or shat on. Well, I guess that's more of a、oh. South Park type of thing. Shit,、mm. shat. Shat is past tense of shit. I know, but I'm just saying, what, where does shit come into this?、Scat、I think that you should shit on them. <laughs> just they're, they're consulting for a game about poop. Okay, no, so yeah, we should make this shit. shit we should make this shit white. We should、That's、make poop the, white as the base consultant on make the poop, poop game. Make poop white. Make the poop just make, be white.、Poop. Okay, so then what would the woke guy be saying about the poop? They also want it to be white, okay, but for、yeah. a different reason. All right. Yeah. See, that's that's where they they shake hands and they they find common ground. We need、mm. to get a sensitivity、uh, person like that. We should hire that firm to come fix the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Because this guy's been going into some very、yeah. dangerous territory recently with the things he's been saying. I know. I think if we hired that firm, they might kill themselves when they yeah. saw Patrick. Yeah, and at、me. some <laughs> point, I think that you <laughs> I'm reading I, that transcript. <laughs> at some point, you have to. You're gonna have to be like a Walgreens cashier. So、I try. You need to make I, sure that you have a squeaky clean record. When、online. I was、uh, 16, I applied to work at Walgreens, and they said no because I'm bad at counting change. I got denied a, a fucking 
coffee shop job one time because I had really dirty clothes and I smelled like shit. Hmm. Isn't that fucking woke? Well, maybe it's where you did you have any experience working in coffee shops or no, dude? I'm so good at getting hmm. shitty jobs because I'm I'm the I'm the you wear a suit. I I no I just uh, I I just schmooze in the job interview walk around like oh, this is the coolest place ever. <laughs> oh. Wait, you guys wear stars on your aprons for how many years you've worked here? Yeah, you that's were working exactly, so awesome. That's exactly how I've gotten all of my jobs. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That must have been easy at the liquor store because you, yeah, no, you were working at the liquor yeah. store oh, for a while. Alcohol. That's literally how I got that job. Well, I mean, it was because my my friend. Shout yeah. out Ryan. Shout out Ryan. Mm-hmm. But uh, but that is what I did in the job interview. Just, yeah. Oh, my God. This, this is Whoa, great. So wow. many bottles. Whoa. Wait, so you get to drink all of this? I think I, I think... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was like, wow, this place is really organized. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love how this a, place is organized. That's a very general one. You could do kind of anywhere. Yeah. Again, Every, that's a, an expert trick. Yeah. Every they single job. You because I, you have to have, be, have a robot autistic brain yeah. to, for that to be something you say. For the organization. Yeah, I, remember, like, yeah. I, I love organization. I, it's really oh, organized. Oh, it's really organized. This looks like my I organized stuff at organized home. organized everything. Yeah. Every <laughs> single job <laughs> I've ever job worked. job at Target. I love all the aisles. Yes. <laughs> wow. I I love wait, everything's wait, numbered. Literally aisles. What That's really did. smart to put them in aisles. Well, oh, so you can go to the different oh God, aisles. And I they have can't wait to be themes. a part of this. Oh. Wow. Oh, my oh, God. The red. shirts are so red. Oh, my God. I really look so good in red. Wow. I love khakis. Wait, you're wearing khakis. Whoa. Yeah, look. Holy what about fuck. me? I like red shirts. I like khakis. Looking yeah, at my weakness Whoa. is khakis Holy in front of me. snap! What the hell is Am this? Am I dreaming right now? Did I oh just make God. that happen? But is this job my heaven? Actually, it's our it's our work uniform. What? Um, I don't think what? I can work here. I would literally come in my pants if I wore jizz in my khakis just by wearing them every single time. I would literally nut right now if you gave me the job. See, you guys use clothes hangers? Oh Holy snap. I have these. I like I have using these at home. I lot. love these. That's how I get into my car. Oh, oh my, my god. god, this is so awesome. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is that a fridge? <laughs> <laughs> no, but then you hire him, and he's but then and then here's the other it. now yeah. here's now anyone can do that at Target. Yeah. Here's the advanced move. Here's the trick. Okay, and this is this is employee of the month. Uh, uh, so I can't future, right. speaking. So I future future employee of the month. You're applying for you the go. job. You walk around Target. You show I love, up with. That. I love the aisles. Oh my god, this is great. You're so organized. Oh my mm-hmm. god, cash. I've always wanted to use a cash register or organize aisles, depending on what you need me for. Mm-hmm. Um, then you walk over to the electronics section, section with the TVs and stuff. And I don't like this stuff. I don't think I'm I don't like watching. Ah, this is time. hurting my eyes. It's so oh my god! I don't want to uh, watch TV. I don't think I'm going to spend much time in this section. Yeah. Um, god. Yeah. Oh, and fireworks. The job is for Ew. electronics. I yeah. hate fireworks. I think they're disrespectful <laughs> and illegal. Oh my god! Wait, is that mongoose BMX bikes? Oh, oh I don't want to ride around sickness. those. Oh. I can't ride a oh, bike. Ew. I never learned. Tech decks. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, tech decks with with little ones that you can use to demonstrate. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll going through the, the toy aisle and saying, saying okay, She's not only this. not only do I not want to play with these at all, but these would be terrible for my children. Yep, my children don't get anything like this, so yeah. I'm not even going to bother looking at this. Wait, stuff. is this next to the groceries aisle? <laughs> oh my god, duvet covers. Oh, oh, oh I think I'm gonna like it I here. I think I'm gonna like it here. Every single job that I've ever had has been a place that is so desperate for new hires that I get the job day one uh-huh. and then realize over the course of like the three months that I worked there, like, oh, yeah, this is why everyone keeps leaving. High like, burn this is rate, like, they call that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was the, this is yeah. why everyone fucking quits. But the truth is nobody wants to work anymore. Nobody wants to work anymore because of work. I'll work, man. I'll work, too. I don't give a fuck. I did a job on Sunday. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how was it? Uh, pretty easy. <laughs> I pretty put easy. the back of uh, put a bodega back together. Whoa. Yeah. That sounds fun, man. Yeah, it was actually pretty fun. I reorganized all their magazines for them. I put all the uh I got to climb a ladder. I got to put a uh, piece of you know how you go into a bodega and you look at you look up top and you see rolls of tape and like wrenches and stuff and you're like, how the fuck does that get up there? Guys like me. Guys uh, like me, dude, after their the bodega same, is used for a pop-up wow. shop I, for a makeup company. I had company. the same wow. thing, and I had this... I Because I went and worked for Jonah the other day, mm-hmm. too, and I was doing, like, setting up some display at, like, a store downtown. Yeah. And the the disdain and uh, alienation that I was feeling from the people working there, I got... It reminded me of, like, when I used to in, install, like, shower doors. Yeah. And be in, like, rich people's houses, and they just don't even think that you're human. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, I'm, like, the exterminator who comes to my house now that I don't want to look at. Yeah. I have become that guy to these people Mm. and they will, they just don't, they don't want me to use their bathroom. They're trying to avoid me all the time. Yeah. 
Oh, it's really that is why feeling. that is why you guys need to get jobs as an usher. Mm-hmm. Well, because yeah. usher, everybody usher, wants I to talk. It. You are the star I get of the show, it, dude. You've done Excuse the usher thing. Excuse me, where's thing. the bathroom? <laughs> Looking around. Sorry, I'm I'm inspecting the seat. Take your hand up. <coughs> shake, <laughs> shake my hand. Shake. You don't even want a tip. Shake, shake it. <laughs> shake it. I don't even. We haven't even met yet. How am I supposed to tell you I'm where the bathroom gonna, is? I'm not gonna talk to you unless you formally greet yourself. What yeah. was? Uh, do you, have you gotten interested in doing any more usher work? I honestly would love to. Really? Yeah. But and yeah, the the usher, the thing that I ushered for was the choir show that my fiance was performing in. Mm-hmm. Um, but she doesn't do that anymore. Ah, so I was thinking of just going and woke. ushering for. Her. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> I'm back. There's something. I hey. mean, there's, there's something really, uh, really beautiful and lovely about to yeah. getting to do something like that. Just like you have no connect. It's a whole community that you yeah. have zero connection to. Everybody mm-hmm. knows each other. Yeah. Everyone coming in the audience are either old people who are so senile that they want to see women sing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in a church um, or it's friends and family, you, yeah. you know, and it's and everybody knows each other. And you're just like a random guy standing there and they're just like, OK, you have to, all you have to do is hold out, hand out these programs. Like, I yeah. love How do I have to having any job for one day. That's why Mike Rowe is that, the best I think job I said it before. Earth. Truly, I think my dream life would be to have every job in the world for, for one day. day. Yeah, yeah. For that one is, I want that day. so bad. I got to go to the dump. A couple oh, days ago. Did you throw ago. it that? Never mind. Threw out a bunch of shit. Yeah, the stuff that you moved. Yeah. Threw out a bunch of shit, man. And it was like, it was exhilarating being yeah. at the yeah. dump. All I that could particle not, board. I could stuff. not believe it. People are screaming at each other. The guys who work there are the smallest guys you'll ever see in mm-hmm. your life. They are this big, if yeah. you're in a big truck, at least. And they are like, in t- there's all this dust flying everywhere, mesothelioma, right. asbestos, asbestos yeah. disgusting yeah. stuff. Something about it, I was like, I I could do this for two weeks and be the happiest I've ever been in my yeah. life. Mm-hmm. That's gigging, man. Real blue collar shit. Yep. Yeah. I, real <laughs> blue collar shit. And that's a male instinct. Uh-huh. Ushering, ushering for one day. That is, that is, that is a, a, that's a real man's job. That is a real man's that job. Is. It absolutely to, is. To command the women. It's yep. all women. Yes. Uh-huh. Women go all over there. Sit there. Guys sit, there. Guys sit, sit there. over here. Mm-hmm. Me eat snacks. Yeah. You eat all the snacks time. that are for everybody else. Mm-hmm. Eat all the cold snacks after the mm-hmm. show starts yep and you would not believe how many old people try to walk in without showing a ticket really yeah. listen well, bitch. O- old people feel like they you're not getting they past think they, they feel like get... they own the earth just because they've yeah. been on it for 120 years yeah yeah, yeah like exactly. all those videos have you seen those videos of uh, also, the people doing like the the palestine protests and the old people are just like closing their ears or like standing up and screaming at them it's funny have that video of that they, old wait, man? They cover their ears to scream. There, there's an old video. There's a picture of like two old people like closing their ears. It's at like a Kristen Gillibrand event, and then there was another video where it's like an old man with a bowl cut, and he keeps like standing up and going, "Shut up, shut up!" Like, Whoa. like he just keeps turning around and doing that, and it's like fucking crazy. It's, yeah. He's like giving himself like an aneurysm. That video is crazy. Yeah. The funniest part of the usher job is you have to check all the old people's tickets because um, sometimes homeless people will try to sneak in. So you have yeah. to do mm. the mental calculus of is this a, a homeless guy who is trying to come in or and that's why he's acting crazy and weird or is this a schizophrenic old gay guy who likes <laughs> Christian music? Wow. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, that is tough. That's a tough call, man. <laughs> That's got to be one of the craziest things to do as a homeless guy. You gotta try go and get into a, a choir, women's choir. Go to a well, choir it's just a church, show. so I feel like you can usually go into a church as a homeless person. Well, yeah, they're probably yeah. Try, trying to go apologize. They probably, for, honestly, for I mean, honestly, probably what it is is that they probably go to that church every day. Yeah. And then today I have to be like, sorry, buddy. You can't the come girls in. are they're, singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're going to do confessional to apologize for uh, camping on the street, blocking yeah. the sidewalk for, for waiting. Yeah. Yeah, John for was waiting telling to me. Seize their life. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to apologize I'm for sorry. wasting my potential. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Father, I've sinned. I've wasted my potential. I never did anything with my life. I could have been a slob. singer, and I'm being a slob. Yeah, <laughs> I could have been a singer or a dancer or some kind of guy who just does the worm, mm-hmm. but that's yeah. his only move. John was telling me that uh, the gym that he used to go to would have like Pizza Friday, and they mm-hmm. would just like have like. Like you could just go in and get like slices of pizza. And that, they do that, that at it, Planet Fitness. Yeah, he was at it was at a Planet Fitness, and it became so overrun with like homeless guys just coming in and like stealing like pizzas that like they yeah. had to stop doing They're it all completely. So skinny and confused, are walking in like this. <laughs> yeah, like I go to the gym, <laughs> walking in with their own weights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, well, that is. Our I didn't make anything episode. this week because. Uh, well, you didn't you direct Heat? Well, I direct. <laughs> yeah, you're dressed up like Michael Mann right now. 
Does he have this haircut? I feel yeah. like this yeah, is more this Al Pacino. Haircut, green and stitches. Really? Yeah. And it's a cap on his head? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, then I guess I did do something. Yeah. I directed Heat. Uh, I did watch the Oscars, though, Me and they too. finally went Who even won everything? and put a naked man Mostly on Oppenheimer. Oh. Yeah, Oppenheimer swept. Who and won then, Best Picture? Uh, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. What else was even up for Best Picture? Killers uh, of the Flower Moon. Nine other movies. Well, dude, that's check too it many. out. I'll tell you what was. I'll tell you what was. I'll tell, tell me all the right, Oscars. I'll fucking tell you right Please now. Spit but at me. Get ready, bro. Please spit. Here are the Best Picture nominees. Come this bars. Year. Come Flop bars now. Oppenheimer. Shit. Um, I I I wrote all these out earlier before. Uh, Flop. Okay, we got Floppenheimer. Yeah. We have uh, Anatomy of a Fail. Wow. Garby. Hardly. Hardly. Why Barbie even nominated? Boar Ings. What's it? Poor Things. Oh, Boar Ings. Yeah, that's good. The Groan of Disinterest. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. Yeah. What's wrong with that one? Well, it's about some very hard... Check this one out. Wasters of the Afternoon. What? Okay, that one I liked. The Please Be Overs. <laughs> Nice. I'm trying to remember all the other ones. Uh, <laughs> Fuck, what else was there? <laughs> Shit. Snow Snow White. Snow White was not up, man. Poor not things. I would have called Maestro. that her thing. Maestro. My, Midstro. That's good. Yeah, for poor things, it was either Boring's or Snow or Snore Brings or her something. Tween. Snortings. I don't remember what else there was, but they basically all were crap. Yeah. Bad year for movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great year for my friends and the food that I ate. <laughs> so thank you to this. Oh wait, well we're two. God is good. Myself. God is great. Thank you for the. All food right, on my guys. Plate. Well, that is part nine of the five weeks of war. And if you one want to, week. if you want one to see the war. final more, part of it, you or one even more, half of the whole thing, you got to go to subscribe on the on patreoncom slash podcast about list. And mm-hmm. we will be having a shareholders meeting at some point this month. We didn't pick one yet, but it oh shit, surely we will that happen. Soon. We'll pick that this week. I'm sure. We have to. I mean, yeah, what else? Yeah. we'd be crazy not to. But uh, what else is happening this month is uh, if you, the, the day this comes out, 13 days from then will be our first show of tour in Boston on March 26th for World's Biggest Army. And World's Biggest Army is coming and doing sketch. And we guys, we were making videos and live sketches, and they're coming out oh so funny. Yeah, we did it uh, one minute ago. Um, mm-hmm. And that's Boston, Chicago, Toronto, Atlanta, and Philadelphia. And then you can also catch us doing podcast live shows in Minneapolis, Detroit, and Carborough, North, and North Carolina. North Carolina. And Beers We Drank will be back this week. Nice. Yes. Yeah, I hope so. Fingers right. crossed. Okay, Happy bye. birthday. Happy Happy War on Woe. Continue killing. Bye. Continue (laughs) killing. (laughs) Continue killing. I will make you skinny and tall so you can never be in a single movie. I want to eat a fish. I will make Caleb see you at a bar one time. Robert Pattinson, you'll never act in another Twilight movie again. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You were only... You're banished to the world of art house (laughs) blockbusters. (laughs) It's a a wizard. You'll never be popular. The worst worst wizard ever. (laughs) He accidentally just advances anyone's career he tries to curse. Well, Kevin Hart, you, you will oh, wear yeah. a dress yeah. on Saturday Night Live and never work again. Very well, Shane Gillis. You can, <laughs> you can have SNL in five years. <laughs> <laughs> you will only be on it one time, and we'll see where your career is then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> Why is that so funny? It's just the funny worst. to imagine, <laughs> imagine <laughs> a, a, a backwards type guy yeah. just like talking. Oh fuck! <laughs> Fucking shit! <laughs> oh, it seems that I've sat on your acoustic guitar, Bob Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> you will be forced to play this electric guitar. <laughs> you will enter a new era. <laughs> Jordan Peele, you will never make another comedy movie again. You are you banned. You will flop from performing sketch comedy on TV. You are off Mad TV. <laughs> I will force Keanu to flop. No one wants to see a movie about a kitten. Oh, God, that is funny to me. Keanu Reeves, your fiancé will die in a car crash, giving you a flat and affable affect for the rest of your life. I, oh, no, what are you doing sitting on this bench? I suppose I'll have somebody take a photo, Keanu. This will not be endearing in any way. Brian, you will have bad luck for the rest of your life. 
<laughs> You'll never be popular. No I one will know your name. I this effort. cat to have a grumpy expression for the rest of its life. <laughs> oh, a cat. Mm, what can cater to your talents? Perhaps a keyboard? And you will flop trying to play the keyboard and nobody will ever know your name, cat.